up guys, JFM here, welcome back! So you may notice something is a little bit different about my game today, I'm using a texture pack, it is awesome! So yes, texture packs have been added, and oh are they nice! Now this method that I'm going to teach today is a little bit funky, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to work. So before you follow this long tutorial, check what update you're on, and if texture packs have actually been added to the game. But if you're still on alpha build one or they just haven't added them yet well this way will work perfectly before we jump into today's tutorial, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the gaming guy 012. He didn't show me this exact method, but he definitely put me on the right track, so huge props to you. And he also supplied this awesome texture pack for me. Alright guys, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So what you're gonna need is two download links, they both will be in the description below. One is for block launcher, and the other is for the texture pack. And once you've downloaded both of those items, go ahead and head into a file manager app. I will be using Astro for this video, so if you want to follow step by step exactly what I do, go ahead and grab that one, but pretty much any one should work. Alright, so here we are in Astro. Now there are a few things you're gonna need to do. First, head to your download folder, and you should find all of your downloads here. Now I'm gonna highlight the important ones. First, the perfect.zip, which is the texture pack I got, and then of course, uh, the block launcher itself. So click on block launcher and try to set it up. Now I already have, so it's going to say install. I'm just gonna cancel it. Just make sure to install it fully before you do this. After that, all we need to do is unzip the texture pack. So go ahead, long press on it to hold, hit those three buttons and extract it into its own folder. I've already done this to save time and that's right there. Alright, so once you've done that, you've installed Block Launcher and you've unzipped the texture pack, go back one step, go into the games folder, then go to com.mojang and here we're gonna have to create a brand new folder for the resource pack. On the top right you should see a button with a folder and a plus, go ahead, click that and name the folder resource packs just just like this, no changes. You need to have resource packs with an underscore. And as you can tell, the folder has been created. So now what we need to do is jump back into our downloads folder, grab the unzipped texture pack, copy it, go back over into the games folder to the folder we just created, and paste our texture pack. This should take just a second. I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Alright, so there we go, the file is complete, and as you can tell, the texture pack is pretty much installed. So now what we need to do is head back into Block Launcher, and I'll do that right now. Alright, so we're back in Block Launcher, and there's a new button on the bottom left. It looks just like the Languages button, but it's really a texture pack button, and as you can tell, we've got a brand new available texture pack called Perfect Pixel Perfection. Now I'm not sure why the preview image doesn't work, but the texture pack works perfectly fine itself. So go ahead, click on its logo, and we'll send it over to the selected texture pack section. If you ever want to remove it, just simply click on it and hit the left arrow, and it'll send it out once again. But enough of that, let's go ahead and check out how this looks in game. So here we are, guys. This is the texture pack. It's just a really, really HD version of the vanilla textures. Now, I'm not sure what texture packs will or will not work, so go ahead and try it first with this one, and then you can try out any other texture pack you like. But yeah, as you guys can see, fully functional, no bugs at all, it's just a great pack and an easy, easy process overall. You'll only have to create the folder once, so now all you need to do is find texture packs online and add them to your new folder. So yeah, this just looks phenomenal. I'm not sure exactly which other texture packs work, but here's what I'll do for you guys. I'll update the description with as many texture packs I can find that work with this method. Now not all of them do, I've tried a few from different websites, so I'm not sure what exactly makes them work, but I will update you guys with as many as I can find, and I'll leave them all 
in the description. So yeah, guys, have fun. Look at all these awesome new textures. Everything is just fantastic. So I think that just about wraps it up. We have completed the tutorial for today. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm not sure how much longer this will work or which texture packs it'll work for, but it definitely works now. So go ahead, check it out. Have some fun at playing with some texture packs in the beta. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found today's video helpful, Go ahead, share it with your friends, and be sure to smash that like button to show your support. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Bye-bye.